just keep turning and turning until I get what I want, like the feel that I want. I, I don't know, like, everybody keeps talking about practicality, like so boring, practical, you keep getting the same pictures over and over again. Why not you get some very high, very, very high key, uh, and some very low key with very minimum light, uh, just enough to get some details. Uh. It's very nice. Sometimes according to my mood, if I like it very dark, I'll edit it very dark. If I like it like very colourful, bright. Sometimes my model also, they will like it bright. Uh. So I just edit their face, whatever they want, uh, I just do it for them. Jewel Ling is a creative 19-year-old visual artist who has great aspirations to make herself a name in the world of visual photography. Her eclectic pieces of work show great promise and hearing slight resemblance to those that grace fashion magazines. Inspired by world-renowned fashion photographer Stephen Maisel, Jewel clicks away on her basic DSLR and the standard lens. Definitely Stephen Maisel. Always changing. I like it every time he tries a different type of style. He changes up. Sometimes he goes like, like something that you cannot think about. Or like something that, oh, you see it, then you feel like you want to do it. But you never really actually thought of it before. That's the was very inspired. Like, I go through all his work. I collect his work. I see. Then sometimes I try to be inspired by it. I take sometimes one photo that I follow. Not totally exactly like the same, but... 95% is me, and then 5% is on the photo. Jewel began her career two years ago after deciding to drop out from her course in psychology. Instead, she took the money allocated for her tuition fees to buy a camera. Her model was a neighbor, and her bedroom, the makeshift studio. Non stop, la, throughout two years, la, nearly every month I'm shooting all the time. And I got my first break. People ask me, um, Do you do shoots for, uh, for uh, um, I said, personal shoots? block shop or something like that. And then I said, why don't I try? Right. In my mind, I think, why don't I try? So I said, yes. No? So I tried it out and it worked perfectly. Like um, that time I'm doing the block shop, man. And after that, I said, okay, I switch it up a bit. I make it brighter. Your clothes, your the body will like, how do I say, disperse out. So it's all white. So it's just like the clothes I'm wearing. Then they like it. Sometimes I don't go with makeup at all. Plain, nude kind of shoot. It's just eyeliner, perhaps. No colorful stuff. I'm very not into those colourful things. I'm more into black and white. Being young, inexperienced and living on tight budget can be very lonely in the high-profile world of fashion photography. But Jewel is undaunted. Her friends Minnie Chan and Yvonne Lo, she met during her stint as a model, helped to pose for her test shots. Well, in Penang, it's very hard because there's not a lot of right people here. There's no stylist at one thing. It's very hard to find a stylist here. Even my, my very only stylist friend moved to Australia already. So I have no stylist here. Makeup artist is my best friend. Now. I met her since the start two years ago. I asked her to be my model. Then she knows how to make up. She knows how to make clothes, make her own jewellery. If there's another device that we can use instead of a camera to take what we see through our own mind, to convey out what we feel, we would use that instead of that. Because I to Singapore first. First, I got a lot of friends there, a lot of hairstylists there, also makeup artists. They inspire you, they advise you. See, so yeah, maybe time, time will come. Uh, time will come when I will have enough and I'll just go. But I prefer if, like, I can travel out away from here one day, uh, hopefully.